I'm getting questions asked. Can we make the formats two formats together in the in the condition format? We want to see the high, highest value and the lowest value together. So instead of answering, I would like to say, yeah, let's try this. Let's go and select the data. So I'm going to home conditional formatting, new rule, use formats to determine. And here what I'm doing is equals to total area with header. So the first cell will be this, and I'll be hitting four, F4 three times, equals to max open the parenthesis and the range will be this cells and here will be the dollar sign only in the beginning so i'll be hitting one two times f3 so you can see the dollar signs in the beginning of the so this for the column wise close the parenthesis format cell so for the highest value i'll be giving into a red color In the same way, if you want to see, if you want to get the lowest value, we will go into manage rules again. New rule. Use the formula. And in the same way, the same way you have to do for the lowest value is equal to select the first cell, hit F4 three times, one, two, three, equals to min. Open parenthesis and select the range over here and hit F4 two times so the dollar signs in the beginning close the parenthesis go to format give this as a green color do ok ok and ok so now you can see both the highest and the lowest have been selected so whatever the highest is 100 are green and high water is lowest is in the red color so you can just have a look at this if you want to have 20, you have 20,000 you can have 25,000 so this is going to be red. If you have 110, if you make this into 100, be green. So in this way, you can also have values from zero. So if you want to have the values, you can give values from zero. So and so zero to ten should be highlighted in this color, or uh, ten to hundred in this color, or hundred to thousand in some other color. So that also can be done, which I'll be showing in the next forthcoming videos. I hope you got this video useful and I would like to ask you to share this videos and so that many people around the world can understand the logic of using the conditional formatting. So thanks for watching. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to use the functions for the larger value. If you have want to see the large values in numbers in three or four or five, the, or the smallest value in numbers so until then keep watching thanks